bubble chew tea. I know many people have been doing these kind of e-girl transformation videos already and I'm kind of late to the trend but I was waiting for a package from Ansi store. It was stuck in customs in my country for about a month but now the clothes are finally here so I can make the video. My style is originally inspired by kawaii or Japanese street fashion but I get inspired by so many different places nowadays so it's hard to really have a name for my style. Some days I wear an all pastel outfit and other days I throw in some dark or edgy elements. And this is what Urban Dictionary has to say. An e-girl is a species of emo usually found on TikTok. <laughs> yeah. So it commonly spends time on Tumblr, can be found wearing pink eyeshadow with a large wing, little hearts under the eyes and a blushed nose. And that's the kind of makeup I'm going to replicate. Normally wearing some type of shirt from Urban Outfitters over a long sleeved striped shirt. Commonly found doing the Mimi Me, Me, Me dance but has probably never seen it before. I have definitely seen the Mimi Me, Me, Me dance because I remember the me 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 song from a few years ago. <laughs> so I'm already wearing the base makeup because I don't find the parts very interesting. So I'm gonna jump straight into the actual look. So in my makeup routine, I always start with the brows after the base. And for the brows, I'm using a liquid lipstick from Lime Crime. And then I'm going to carve out my eyebrows just a little bit. I'm also going to use the same concealer to prime my eyelids a bit. I often use real eye primer, but this time I think I'm going to go with just concealer. I really like these ColourPop Jelly Match shadow, I think they're called, but the only downside is that they dry pretty fast, but I'm still gonna use the shade No Rest for the Vivid. And these pigments are pretty easy to blend, so that's another reason why I love them. So next I'm going to use a Makeup Revolution palette. Now I'm going to take a purple shade. I think I'm going to try to make a little... This Etude House Tear Eyeliner is one of my favorite makeup products ever. I just like to put a little bit here. Then I'm going to take another Colourpop shadow. So now I'm done with the eyes and the next step is blush. Look at this adorable blush. I actually like kind of heavy blush in my daily makeup routine as well. I'm also gonna put some blush on my nose because that's very e-girl. I think nose blush is actually really cute. I'm also gonna take a little bit of the same Colourpop eyeshadow I used before because this eyeshadow is very glittery so it's 
also like a highlight. My nose is very pink, but it's okay because this is an e-girl tutorial and I'm gonna add some more highlighter. The hearts under the eyes are such an eagle staple, so I am definitely going to recreate that. I think this size is probably good. Now I'm just gonna do the lips and then the makeup is done. Now I'm gonna go change into the first outfit and maybe film a TikTok video. I have to. I don't dress cool so men will pay attention to me. I dress cool so 13 year old girls will walk by me down the street and whisper to their friends, did you see that girl's outfit? She looks so fucking cool. It's been a few weeks since I filmed the last part and I've dyed my hair since that as you probably can see. I don't know about these pink roots, it was just something new I tried. So this is pretty much the definition of soft girl. Based on a deliberately cutesy feminine look, it often features pink and yellow colors, floral and heart patterns, oversized sweaters and plaid skirts, heavy blush makeup. Being a soft girl also may involve a tender, sweet and vulnerable personality. So I'm starting with the eyebrows just like with the e-girl look and this time I'm using a eyebrow pencil from Etude House. The primer I'm gonna use is a primer from P. Louise. I've heard so much about these primers, so I ordered a few of them and I've been waiting for the package to arrive, so that's why I had to film the soft girl version a bit later than the eagle version. This is such a good primer. I really understand the hype and it's really thick, so I guess that's good. <laughs> I honestly don't know that much about primers. I'm gonna use a palette from a brand whose name shall not be mentioned. I probably won't buy from them anymore, but if you know who it is, then you know. <laughs>
I'm gonna create a half cut crease and I'm using a base from P. Louise again. This is a clear white. And now I'm just taking some white eyeshadow and carefully packing that on. are done and it's time for blush and lips and then I think I'm pretty much done. The colors doesn't show up that good on camera as it does in real life so I'm just gonna have to pack on a bit more than I would usually do. Now I'm gonna use a glitter jar. This is like a liquid glitter from Colourpop. I always tend to go overboard with the glitter, but I think glitter fits really good with the soft girl aesthetic. Something like that. I gotta admit that I don't really have any lip glosses because I don't like the sticky feeling and lip glosses is a major part of the soft girl aesthetic so I'm just gonna use a lip tint this one is from Etude House <music> 